we're at Wellington Country Park today, uh, down in Berkshire, coming up for my second full season on here. First heard about the place about 10 years ago through some videos and, and magazines and articles in the trade press sort of thing. And as your angling progresses, the, you want to catch bigger and bigger fish and test yourself against uh, with other challenges. So I decided to put my name down, put my name down about seven years ago. Last year I got the phone call offering me a, a ticket and uh, jumped at the chance. It's a magical place. It's, it, it's probably like no other place in the country really, you know. You've got like a clubhouse there, an island, looks real like carpet out there. And yet you go 500 yards that way and there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a train running around the back of there. The head of fishing here is just phenomenal. It's you know, as good as you'll find in the country, really. Stock-wise, they reckon there's about 90 fish in here at the moment. There's about 10 over 50 pound. Then you've got a big head of 40 pound fish as well. Back up 30s and 20s and the odd couple of doubles. My methodology doesn't really change from spring a summer sort of thing. I'll load the barra, put my barra somewhere secure and then I'll start looking for them. The key on here and in fact all waters to me is about location and, and I'll keep walking and walking and walking until I've found them. If you're on them, you know, 10 minutes in the right spot is worth 10 hours in the wrong spot um, and I've had them within 15 minutes of casting out. In terms of baiting, a lot of cell, a lot of hybrid goes in here. I started using stringers through March and now I'm starting to apply a bit of bait. And that'll be a blend of cell and hybrid in terms of free offerings. You know, they're big fish, they're big for a reason in here. So they like their food. You know, there's not a lot of weed at the moment, so they, they need to eat. And in terms of a hook bait, predominantly it's a white, small little 13, 12 mil white cell pop-up. And as as that cell in particular starts to wash out, I, I believe that the, uh, the hook bait then starts to mimic the free offerings. Tackle-wise, Ronnie Rig, size four crank hexes, you're fishing for some of the biggest fish in the country. So I want my tackle to be strong, robust. I don't want it to let me down. Hook holds have been phenomenal on, on the Ronnie. Certainly this time of year, more high visual, in their face sort of thing. You know, on a lot of waters, they're sort of hanging themselves this time of year. So uh, you know, that tactic for me, uh, I think is pretty deadly. But then, you know, I'll use a white pop-up all through the year. I've, my first bite came on white, so I've stuck with them. I've not looked back really. Obviously, out by the island there is, is a fair way to go there. I think it's about 33, 34 wraps. So I'll use like a tapered subline if I'm having to whack any sort of distance. And then I'll also use like, for my close in work, 15 pound touchdown. Uh, you can feel a nice drop on it. It, it sinks like a brick. You know, and, it, and if you've got fish at close quarters, big fish, and they're powering into towards snags, you want you want something that can turn them, not let you down, so to speak. So, in terms of my first full year on here. My first bite, funny enough, came in this swim here, the swim they called a hole in the bush. That was just over 40 pound. So it was a nice way to get started. Um, and then I've been steady all through the year. I've had quite a few 38s, 39s. Um, I had a fish the other side of the lake, it normally goes 50 pound at the right time of year, which was 47 thick wristed fish, 44 common last week, I think that was, just down from here. And in terms of what there is for me to go at, well, I've not had a Wellington Country Park 50 pounder, that's on my hit list, obviously. My mate, Martin Pick, who's another cooler guy, he's on here and he sort of whetted my appetite before I joined here. And he's on a bit of a roll at the moment. He's just had a 49 three days ago out of here and he's had a lot of the fish over the years. I think he's had about four or five 50 pounders now. I've been carp fishing for 30 years. I know you probably wouldn't think it, to be fair, but prior to here, I fished Elstow Pit 1, which was a different style of fishing, and then it's about adapting and evolving as an angler. You know, it's 30-odd acres here. You've got to have that sort of mindset. You've got to want to catch 
them fish because you're not going to have six or seven fish every trip. You know, you, you're going to have blank periods and it's just that acceptance that you're going to go through that but you've done everything you can and as well as you can, you know, so that when you shut the gate behind you, you know that I tried my best, it just didn't work, but then you sort of reload and you go again. Um, and ultimately, if you're doing the right things, the hand of fate will point at you and you'll get rewarded. That's a cop. Get in there, you <laughs> that. That's a hipper. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ten. Wellington Country Park, spring fishing, fat little git, a bit like the geezer who caught him, but happy days. Great session, but I can't help thinking I wasn't alone. <laughs>